What's up, you two? Johan here. Um, you know, figured I'd make this video and bring you guys along the ride. You know, in the journey of getting my CDL, learning how to how to drive, essentially starting CDL school, how I chose my CDL school, um, how much I paid, and today is officially my first day in CDL school. So, you know, I figured I'd take you guys along the ride and, and show you guys what that's like. Um, answer any questions you guys may have. And, and yeah, man. Um, so, let's get started. So, first off, um, you know, getting your CDO, you got to get your CDO permit, which is passing your, your theories. Um Passing your theories is, is, is pretty easy, man. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Don't get me wrong. You do got to put in some reading at most and, like, some practice testing and stuff like that. But, um, I mean, at most, I hit the books, like, two weeks, um, you know, an hour here, an hour there, sometimes for, like, two or three hours. Um, you know, this, this great, great app. I actually read the, the Florida Handbook. Um, the Florida Highway Department Handbook uh, for the CDL. I read over the general knowledge. I read over the air brakes. And last and not least, it was the, uh, what was it? The uh, combination, right? I'm getting a CDL Class A. So, you know, definitely going to go over, you know, how I passed my test in my first try. You know, some bumps on the road that I found on the way of getting my my permits um, as well as my process and what I was looking at when I was calling the CDL schools when I went over to them and what I saw what I noticed um, and how I chose where, where I'm going essentially um, I am located in, in Florida South Florida Homestead um, so you know if you're if you're in the area drop drop a comment down below uh, you know if there's any way I can help out you know, I'll definitely reach out and, you know, at the very least, you know, respond to that comment. So, um, so yeah, man, um, you know, studying those, studying those, those, those handbooks is, it's going to be very helpful. Um, I would just read over the general knowledge, right. Just once or twice, um, get some, some great, um, uh, get some great knowledge on some key points essentially. Um, but actually learn, right? Because you're going to go out there and you're going to, you're going to be riding these heavy, like really heavy trucks, uh, which is a, a very big responsibility to yourself and to others in the road, right? Just, um, you know, the way you can see it is, you know, there's, it, it could be you driving down the road in your car and there could be an uh, irresponsible truck that, that could just, you know, if they don't know what they're doing, if they don't, um, you know, see the danger by not breaking ahead or keeping that distance, um, they could, they could essentially kill you or you could kill someone. If you do get your CDO, get behind the wheels. Um, you know, it, it is dangerous. It's a bit, it's, it is a big responsibility. So when you do get, um, to study, learn and, and intake some of that, a lot of that, if not all of that information, because, you know, it's, it, it is a big deal. Um, so I didn't want to down, downplay that at all. Um, didn't want that message to come across but essentially you know read through that general knowledge side of things um on, on the handbook and then from there i would you know it depends on, on on your level you know of knowledge if you know some things are common sense uh some things you just have to know it by reading it um but yeah um you know after after you read through the general knowledge uh, i would download this app right here I can put it here. Uh, it's called CDL Prep. This is on the on the Google Google Play Store. Um, yeah, I would definitely get that from there. Um, and you know, it would actually show you like some great. It, it actually gives you some study portion, but the main thing that I use is the the, the testing portion, right? So you get to test where you at, what you know. Um, and you can fail and you can do it all, all the times you want, right? So, 
Um, and by failing, you fail forward, essentially. That's a model that I go by. Um, it's a book. I recommend reading it. Um, you know, essentially, you, you, you fail, if you fail a question, you do a, if you do the testing, um, it, they, it runs through just like a, an actual test from, from the DMV or whatnot. Um, you know, so, um, you can skip, you, you can skip questions. You could, uh, you know, if you select it, it'll show you if it's wrong or not. Um, and that's how you, how you fail forward. Essentially, you, you get to learn the right answer and, uh, for photography, memory that, that, that kicks in, um, you know, and it actually helps out, you know, so when, when you go to, to the, to the DMV to actually take the written test, um, you know, I thought it was going to be a lot, a lot more harder, um, but it's not, man. It's really not. You know, if you're not sure about a question, you get to skip. You know, I, I've heard that they have about a thousand something questions for each section, or if not hundreds of, of questions. Um, for the general knowledge, it's just 50 questions that you have to, that you have to do. Um, air break in combination is 25 and 25. So, you know, there's probably like 500 questions out there and, you know, you get to skip, um, you know, any questions that you don't know. So, you know, I'll, I'll move on to, from general knowledge to air breaks. Um, seeing the com combination is kind of like the easiest part, um, uh, when it comes to passing that test. Um, but going into it, you know, just general, uh, general knowledge and air break, man, that's a lot of information to intake. Um, so, you know, I mean, that's why I would leave gen, um, combination as last, seeing that it, it is one of the easiest part. Um, I would definitely read over and read over and read over um, the air break side of things um, at least two times. Um, even though it, it, it's in the handbook, it could be a lot, um, aside from, from reading over, over it at least twice. Um, I would, you know, again, come to, to this app, CDL prep, um, and, you know, it will definitely show you a lot of, a lot of key stuff, man. Uh, you know, you could, you know, I'll show you, you could, uh, select, let's see if it, no, okay. Well, right here is, uh take test, select take test, and then it actually shows, um, there you go, other sections, so general knowledge, I know, there you go, air brakes, cargo transportation, combination vehicles, and you can see it shows, what is it, seven, seven tests, six tests, four tests, um, and then in each section, let me see, so if I go to like air brake, you know, you could take test one, test two, test three, test four, and six. Um, I just, well, that's, that's a coincidence. Um, but yeah, and then that shows you. Um, and then, you know, over time, oh, actually one of the main things that I wanted to show is, you can see how it's saying one of, of 26 questions. Um, they make it like a, uh, you know, like a real experience, real life experience. Where, where general knowledge is, like I said, is 50 questions, 25, 25 questions, and 25 is for air breaks and, and combination. Um, so, you know, once you get 80, 90% on even a hundred percent, I was, I was getting already a hundred percent, um, because of all the times I was doing it on that app, um, like I was taking all of those tests on over and over again. Um, you know, once you do that, you, you tend to just remember the answers, um, as well as, uh, photographic memories. Um, you know, and then from there, it's, it's just combination, you know, air breaks, there's, there's a lot of different variables, very important information on there. Um, you know, don't try to intake as much as you can. Um, but just keep in mind in that CDL school, you know, if you're choosing to go, I think, I don't know if it's, if it's required to, but, um, you know, CDL school is, is definitely going to go a lot more in depth and show you about that right because it's so important um especially to have the knowledge behind it so you know when it comes to that just try to intake you know bring in um get that knowledge as much as you can um but don't stress too much right um you know in, in the test it's only 25 questions make sure you once you do the four sections in that app 
you get some of the main questions and once you get 80 90 percent in, in those tests and all of those four tests you know you're good to go um combination easiest test um for me it was just a lot of information to intake but um you know, it was a lot of information to, to, to bring in at, all at once, you know, general knowledge, air brake, and then combination. Um, but I actually didn't stress so much the combination. Um, I did to a point, like, you know, not go, not knowing what I was going into when I was taking the test. Um, you know, keep in mind, guys, that you could skip through those questions that you don't know. Um, so my main thing was remembering those steps of you know hooking a trailer and, and you get me like and and un, unhooking the trailer um from the yeah i mean it's just like literally like a 10 a 10 step process and a 15 step process um you know and and it was like they would ask you question on the test on the practice test like oh what would happen from ten, um step 10 to 12 or 10 and 11. um compared and then another question is like what will happen step one and two or five and seven um you know whatever it is and you know i, I was stressed out a lot because like damn that's a that's this kind of you know like it's kind of a lot to remember uh, all at once um but guys don't 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 stress on that it's the point that i'm trying to get to um don't stress on that at all we read, read over it um get familiar with the process but um you know those steps if you if you don't remember um you know it's fine uh you, you get to skip those questions in the in the in the in the question in the, in the actual test um so you know that's my studying process that's how I, I was able to get it done within um two to three weeks of studying um you know and then you know my experience in the dmv when i went in you know, the first time around, they told me that I have to do the ELDT course, which I was like, you know, I didn't know nothing about. Uh, second time around that I went in, they didn't, they didn't even ask me for it. Um, so I had to schedule like an appointment twice, essentially. Um, but yeah, I was super stressed on the first time around uh, because I didn't know nothing about the ELDT. I went, you know, to the, onto, the Florida Department of Highway um, website, like the FDOT website. I went into some YouTube channel that couldn't find nothing, no information on that. Um, I would just go to ELDT.com. There's a $25 course, super easy. You don't have to study for nothing. And like, I just flew right through it. Um, you know, it kind of gives you the answer right there on top of the page. Um, it's kind of like an open book type of test. Um, you know, uh, so I would just go prepared because, you know, you don't want to find yourself in that position where you book an appointment today, like for today, and then you have to wait three weeks more before there's another opening for an appointment to, to take those tests um, if you're in one of those busy areas, um, which luckily I wasn't, but I know there's, there's scenarios like that. Um, you know, I would definitely just get it done um, as well as the hazmat if you, if you so there's, there's an EODT just to take the, the written test, to my understanding, um, like the general knowledge, air brake and combination. And then the other part is to, there's the EODT for the hazmat. Um, if you're gonna go and do the hazmat, you can find that you can find that as well at the EODT.com website. It's also $25, um, but don't confuse one and another, right? Um, you gotta, if, you, if you're gonna do the hazmat, Make sure you're doing the EODT ha that's specified for hazmat. Um, if you're just going to do the EODT without hazmat, it's just, you know, um, you don't have to worry too much about that. But, um, yeah, just wanted to put that out there as an experience, that a small, a small little headache that I had, um, you know, bump on the road, as, as you would say. Um, and, yeah, sad as that, I mean, to conclude this, this video, man, today, you know, again, I... I I got my right there and then after I finished my, my third test. Um, I tried doing the hazmat. I did study for it. Um, it it's a little a little bit more tougher than I guess I would compare it to the uh, to the air brakes. 
just read through it, get get to know it, but don't stress too much on it, uh, because you know as long as you know those key points, um, you get to skip through those questions that you don't know, right? So don't stress too much on that. Um, and yeah, I mean once you're done with everything, they pretty much give you some papers, and you get to go to to the other side, you know where it is, where they print out the the, the your new license that says learning permit, uh, driver's license for CDL. Um, the DOT, you know, make sure you get that done as well uh, before you even pay for school. There's people that, um, you know, I paid four grand for school, uh, for the CDL school, um, which is not so bad, man. Not so bad. I, have, I, you know, I guess in another video, I'll go a little bit more in depth into what school I went, how I chose the school I, I, I'm going to, and, you know, expose the school that I'm, that I'm currently going to, um, and make that a whole other video. But, um, you know, four grand is, is not so bad. Um, I know like five years ago, it was, it was a lot more, it was a lot less, in other words, um, for these CDL schools. And, you know, kind of hate that I spent my 20s without, you know, looking into this opportunity. Um, not really, I'm not going to say I hate it, but, you know, because I had good opportunities going on those times. Uh, but that's a thing in the past now, so. Um, you can't go wrong with going with, with the CDL, man. Just can't go wrong. There's many, plenty, and, and you know, great opportunities out there um, for CDLs, you know, any for anyone that was a CDL, um, as well as just having it in the back burner, you know, in the back of your, in your wallet, essentially, um, in case there's ever, you find yourself in a situation where you, you just need a job um, quickly, you just, Hop on that CDL, man. You get you get on that truck and, and you get you get going. Um, but yeah, um, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, you know, this is just a quick video on. Well, it's not so quick. <laughs> <coughs> on um, you know how I study for my test, how I uh, got it done. I'll put down below the link for the Florida Department of Highway Handbook. Uh, where you can find those, those uh, you know, those um, information, you know, the, the study book essentially for, to get your CDL. Uh, so don't, don't slag on that. That's definitely the best way to go about it. Um, as well as that app that I showed you, it's a great app. Um, but yeah, man, until then, see you guys. Good luck to you in your journey. If you see any value coming through this video, please like the, the video. Um, you know, feel free to reach out anytime. Comment down below. I'll, I'll definitely respond, man. Appreciate ya.